a massive fly trap unleashing, a masterclass on cultivating and caring for carnivorous charm. Hello YouTube friends. In this video, we'll get acquainted with a fascinating and beautiful Venus flytrap plant. Let's dive into the details together. The Venus flytrap plant was a fascinating discovery in the 19th century in the southern part of North Carolina, USA. This plant quickly gained popularity and became one of the cultural symbols in the world of plants. They evolved from simpler carnivorous plants about 65 million years ago. The snap mechanism enables them to catch larger prey relative to their body size. The fossil record suggests their ancestors were much more widespread, especially in Europe. Fly traps are improbably elaborate. Scientific name. The Venus flytrap, or Dionea muscipula, belongs to the Drosserake, a family. Its scientific name adds to its unique charm. The Venus flytrap is one of the most fascinating and unique plants in the world, renowned for its ability to capture and digest insects with its distinctive traps. Here are some interesting facts about the Venus flytrap. Carnivorous traps, the Venus flytrap features specialized leaves that resemble an open mouth of a predatory creature. These traps have two lobes, and when an insect enters, they snap shut, ensnaring the prey, and the plant begins the process of digestion. Touch sensitivity. The leaves of the Venus flytrap are touch sensitive, and when an insect lands on the trap, the leaves quickly close, initiating the digestion of the captured insect. Its rapid response to touch illustrates a highly sensitive mechanism in this plant. Primary nutritional source. The Venus flytrap obtains a significant portion of its nutrition by consuming insects. However, the plant also utilizes soil and minerals in water to fulfill some of its nutritional needs. The beauty and captivation. Beyond its astonishing insect catching abilities, the Venus flytrap has garnered attention for its unique beauty. The captivating leaves, adorned with distinct colors and patterns, turn this plant into a living work of art. Natural habitat, this plant thrives in regions with acidic and nutrient-poor soil. The natural range of the Venus flytrap is found in climate zones like South and North Carolina in the United States. Challenges in conservation. Due to habitat destruction and unsustainable practices, the Venus flytrap is considered a sensitive species at risk. Adequate conservation plans and sustainable management are crucial to preserving the ecological significance of this plant. Native regions. This plant grows in the eastern regions of America, especially in North and South Carolina. Care conditions.
IT White. Venus flytrap requires abundant light. The best location is near windows where direct sunlight enters. During the warm season, place the pot in direct sunlight. But in the colder season, use indirect light. Watering E. Regular and timely watering is crucial for this plant. However, avoid overwatering to let the soil completely dry. Soil, acidic soil suitable for well known plants, is ideal for the Venus flytrap. Temperature size, Venus flytrap prefers moderate to warm temperatures. The ideal growth temperature is between 20 30 degrees Celsius. During the cold season, ensure the plant is protected from the cold. And if it's exposed to frost outside your region, it's better to bring it indoors. Humidity. This plant thrives in high humidity. You can increase humidity by placing a water fill tray near the pot or using a misting spray to moisten the air. Fertilizing. Use fertilizers designed for well-known plants and keep in mind that fertilizing during the active growth season is very effective. Propagation. You can propagate the plant from its own offsets or through seeds. To propagate from offsets, carefully separate a leaf and plant it in a new pot, then take care of it. Pot replacement. Replace the pot every few years and use high quality soil and nutritional additives for the plant. Pests and solutions. Pests generally have minimal impact on the Venus flytrap. Use complementary protections and natural solutions. Pruning and hunting mechanism. Prune yellow or damaged leaves to transfer energy to healthier ones. The hunting mechanism of this plant responds to sensory stimulation by insects. When a fly or insect lands on the edge of a leaf, the leaves close rapidly, providing the plant with its prey. We will highlight some of the well-known species of Venice flytraps. Venus flytrap typical. This species has the classic and recognizable features of Venus flytrap blades. The blades close from the edges with various teeth, capturing and hunting insects. Venus flytrap. B52 dye. This species emphasizes larger blades compared to the typical species. B52 blades are larger, stronger, and may attract larger prey. Venus flytrap Akai Rinu. Akai Ru translates to red dragon, and this species focuses on red blades in a beautiful appearance. This striking color particularly manifests in winter blades. Venus flytrap DIC XLL. This species offers the largest blades in terms of size. It features very large and powerful blades capable of capturing larger insects. Venus flytrap red piranha. Red piranha is one of the red Venus flytrap species.
the red blades and teeth make it eye-catching. Venus flytrap cupped trout. This species emphasizes blades with inwardly curved edges, forming a cup-like structure. This design may lead to the accumulation of more insect specimens. Fresh air. Venus flytrap needs fresh air. Avoid placing the pot in areas with poor ventilation, such as enclosed rooms. Avoid moving. Once you've placed the pot, try not to change its location frequently. Venus flytrap is sensitive to changes in location and may experience shock. We've just explored the fascinating world of the Venus flytrap. If you have any questions or experiences, be sure to share them in the comments section. See you in the next videos.